everybody. I have a few unboxings that I was trying to hold off because I know that I have some more shipments coming in and um, I was trying to hold off. They were due today, but I have some stuff that I just really want to look at. So I'm going to go ahead and do them today, even though I know that I'm probably going to just have to turn around and do another unboxing tomorrow, but oh well. All right, the first unboxing, I'm trying to decide. There's three unboxings. So the first one I want to do is really an unboxing that I already did because I couldn't wait. It's from Six Soaps. I had ordered a, a soap from Six Soaps before, but it didn't arrive. The post office lost it. And so um, I got another soap from them, which is Scented and Candy Apple. This is their... Uh, logo here six soaps if you have not looked them up before i mean uh before now please look them up they've got the best soaps i had this melted baby um soap that was supposed to be delivered to me evidently it was delivered to someone else um and it was pretty gory so someone got an awfully gory gift and evidently they liked it because they didn't return it to the post office so instead i placed an order for this it is a 3D glow-in-the-dark um, soap. And this one is obviously from the Ghostbusters and it's Slimer. And the cost of this was uh, $9.95. So it was a little more than the baby that I had ordered before. Um, but as soon as I saw it, I had to have it. This is yet another soap that's going to go into my collectible, collectible, collectible soap. Um collection that I will not use but I can smell it right through the packaging and it smells amazing so I only ordered the one but it is I tried it and it is glow in the dark I did put it to its test but six soap has some amazing soaps I bought soaps for my children um, some horror movie soaps for my children I bought uh, some uh, haunted mansion soaps for myself um, I bought some Halloween soaps. Um, I bought a bunch of soaps from them. But anyway, this is basically my new favorite. So again, six soaps. Find them on Instagram and on Facebook. I will put the information in the video. Six soaps. I don't know how anybody could ever use their soaps, but I'm sure people do. The next unboxing that I have is from Maddie Macbeth. I did not pre-open this one. And here it is. I got candy as usual. Thank you. I got some Skittles. I got some gummy candies. Candy. Candy. My favorite part of opening a box. And this is our card. Maddie Macbeth. And on the back side of the card, more Mad and Macbeth. And let's open it up and see what it was that I ordered. Because I don't remember. Oh, here's a Gone Grapes. I think this is a bar of soap. Beautiful, beautiful. She always does some beautiful stuff. Lovely, lovely. I love her stuff. I'm sure you guys are sick of hearing me say that I usually hoard her stuff for myself and don't even share it with you guys because it's the most relaxing bath bombs. This one is called Sweet Like Candy. And it's just covered in candy. It is just the most uh, foamy, relaxing experience to get into a tub full of Madame and Beth bath product, honestly. It just, it's just like you put it in and you're just like, I'm done. My work here is done. So I need to get better at sharing her stuff and not hoarding it for myself. And then I got the little bunny, the obligatory. Oh my gosh, how cute is it? Uh, the obligatory bunny for Easter. And I like this one because it was a uh, multicolored. And on the bottom, it's a whole totally different color. So let me do that a little slower. So I think I went a little too fast. I had a little uh, five-hour energy, so I'm a little hyped up right now. How cute is it? It's called Hippity Hop. Too cute. 
Even the tail's a different color. Look at that. Cute little bunny. Can't smell it. Or can I? Cannot smell it. And then we've got a few more items in here. I love this stuff. I ordered the little egg guy. Uh, trying to get my Easter stuff on. Oh, here's the uh, invoice. Yes, here's the invoice. So, uh, it's just the packing slip. I don't have the uh, pricing on here. But if I can find the pricing online, I'll get it for you. And add it to the bottom of the video, as I have done in the past. Egg hunt. Cute little bath bomb to put in your Easter baskets if you have time. Cute, cute. We'll try to get all of these demoed ASAP. And then... Oh, it's a little bug like a um, ladybug. And this one is called uh, Ladybug Love Pink Bath Bomb. Oh, I like this on the back. Um, very cute. Am I too close? I don't know. Oh, can you answer me? Um, very cute ladybug. And on the back, it's sort of like um, multi, uh, well, two colored. Sort of looks like Corian stone. And this one I can smell. It smells like sort of like a sweet tart candy. Yummy. So again, uh, for the Madame McBath, we had, I think this is the uh, scent of the month. I'm sorry, the bath bomb of the month, which is sweet like candy, which is usually $3 bath bomb, scent of the month. We have the Easter Bunny, which is, I have, uh, I had another Easter Bunny from another company, but it was a little different than this. It was basically the same, not dinging them at all, but it was the same kind of shape that I've seen from a lot of other people. This one is quite different. Um, and then she also marbleized it, which is also a little different than I've seen as well. This one is called Hippity Hop. Hippity hoppity Easter's on its way. Hm, I need to stop taking them five hour energies, people. Then we have the, um, oh, I'm sorry, the soap. Gone grape soap. Mm, I love some grape. Soap pop. This is pretty cute. You know, I love the soaps. What I love most about soaps is not using them, keeping them, especially when they're this cute and just hoarding them. Just to say people to people, look how cute my soaps are. Very cute. Um, we have the Egg Hunt bath bomb. I might have to use the egg and the um, Easter Bunny at the same time. Just because it would be really cute for a bath, right? And then we have finally the uh, ladybug. So that's all we have for the Matt and Macbeth. So thank you very much, Matt and Macbeth. Matt and Macbeth, if I could actually speak today. And thank you especially, ooh, thank you especially for the candy. My favorite part of opening a box. All right, that's all that we have for Matt and Macbeth. Finally, we have here Sudsy Sirens. Now, I had stopped ordering from Sudsy Sirens because not even their fault. I had stopped ordering from Sudsy Sirens because it comes from far away. And the post office would damage my stuff. And so I would pay shipping for the post office to damage my stuff. And I was figuring, so it comes all the way from the West Coast to the East Coast. I'm paying the post office to damage my stuff. And I'm giving them extra time to do it because it's coming all the way from the East Coast. I might as well order products from the East Coast and at least give them a smaller window to damage my stuff. 
So I decided I was not going to order stuff from the West Coast anymore, as much as I hated to do so because I love Sutsy Sirens. So Sutsy Sirens decided to make something that was just super ridiculously amazing and she reeled me in. She had been making uh, super amazing stuff anyway, um, but this one just really just reeled me in. Let me just go ahead and show you the amazingness of Sutsy Sirens. Nice little emboss here. Well, no pricing, so I will get the pricing and put it at the bottom for you guys. We have some... What? Oh, my gosh, that smells like bubblegum from my past. Oh, we have some samples here. This smells amazing, but doesn't smell more amazing than this. Oh, for the love of Pete. That's me trying not to curse. Oh my gosh, that smells good, that bubble gum. And this other one is body butter. Anyway, those smell amazing. Let's see what it is that I ordered. I tried to order in the, and then I asked her to like super, super pack it. And she was, she was trying to find a way to make this work too because she had seen the damage that had been done previously. Actually, I had ordered this item before and it came in damaged um, months ago and so when I demoed it the demo was not fair because it was already broken in several pieces but I still demoed it even broken because I really loved the bath bomb so now that she and I had spoken and she was so gracious as to try to wrap it in a way that it wouldn't come in damaged and she did and it did um, I ordered it again so that I could now make a nice decent vampire demo of it. It's lovely. It didn't come in crack. I see no cracks in it. Everything looks amazing. Now, if only I don't drop it before I get to the top. I've been known to do that. So now, if I go to do the demo on this and it's broken, unless it's sometimes when I go to unwrap the street shrink wrap, there are cracks that I hadn't noticed until I open it and then the cracks become visible when you release the shrink wrap and you're like, oh. but it doesn't appear that there are any on here. Um, so if there are, then more than likely it's going to be my fault. The second item that I order is... <laughs> don't even remember. I know the one specific one that I ordered, but I don't think I, rem I, I remember this color one. What the heck did I order? I just try to make it worth my while, so I ordered several things. Let me look at my invoice to fresh my mind. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember the stalker. Oh, well, she's huge. The stalker dolly bath bomb. Isn't she crazy looking? She's crazy. You're going to be hers at any cost because she's the stalker. I had gotten from them this adorable, crazy looking clown. And he had hair on the top with different colors. You should check out their site if you have not. It had hair, like uh, multicolored hair on it. And it was so cute. But the hair was attached just to the plastic. So... When I put it in to the tub, I made sure that the plastic was still attached to it with my fingers and I was holding on to the plastic for the demo. It was so cute. Um, but this is going to make an awesome demo as well. Look how big her eyes are. She's crazy looking. I like her. I love crazy. Don't you love crazy? I love crazy. Men tend to like crazy too. Now this last one is the reason I placed an order. Because it was just like, are you serious? Are you serious? Let's see what's up in here. I can see the shape already and I'm getting all happy and giddy. What's going down? What's going down? Open up, open up. Thank you for the perfect packaging, by the way, because everything looks lovely. Uh, the 
just taking a close look, making sure there's nothing going on. Nothing going on. Appears to be a little crack there, but I think it's not cracked post office wise. I think it's just a crack because when it dries, it creates some kind of crackage. I don't think it's a crack that um, is created by damaging. You know, as bath bombs dry, they create certain crack lines. Um, so, but look at this, guys. Look at it. Look at it. Awesome. This bomb is crazy. This is the Rick Sanchez bath bomb. I might have to use this sooner rather than later. looks very fragile so I'm gonna open it very carefully I don't know if you guys can see but the drying process did create a few cracks in it um, that doesn't mean it's gonna crack when I open it I'm just sick telling you guys in case you guys get bath bombs that are special made like this the drying process does create some cracks and the cracks do not mean that there's something wrong with the bath bomb so don't get worried, don't call the vendor and say they sent you something defective. It's a product that dries and makes, when it dries, it sometimes causes cracks, especially when it's molded um, like this. Um, so for instance, uh, the molding around the eyeball right there on the side there has a crack. It happens. It's part of the drying process. Um, this part right here, the cheek, is sort of 3D here. So on the inside, it causes a little cracking. That's, it's a cheek, and it's hard to get that little piece up and cause a 3D effect. It's going to cause, it may cause a little cracking. Um, so whereas we have these who are the, the, the mold is thick. It allows for every corner and crevice to be filled. It's kind of harder with something so the mold is thinner. So it, 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 it's, it's hard to fill every crack completely and totally. So I'm just telling you guys that because I know that I've heard someone come to me and say something that, you know, why does some of their bath bombs come with cracks in them um, and should they go back to the vendor? And I answer to them that sometimes it's the nature of the beast. Anyway, so that's all that I had from Sudsy Sirens. I had the Fang Banger. Love it. Second time ordering it. It performed wonderfully before, but it was broken up. Um, I have the Stalker. And then I have Rick Sanchez. Sudsy Sirens. I'm happy to be back in your arms. I'm happy to be back. We have this bubble gum. I wish you guys could smell it. I, it smells amazing. And then some, um, looks like body butter. And it smells super nice too. I might use this tonight after my bath. Mm, mm, mm. If I hadn't already promised somebody I was going to use their bath bomb tonight, I would be using this. But it is moving to the front of my line. Uh, and not because I don't want to hoard it. Special ones get hoarded. So, um... I would hoard this one, except that it looks kind of delicate. And I would hate to hoard it and then get another one to mess it up, you know, bump against it and mess it up. So, all right, guys, that's all that I have today. Again, we had Sutsy Sirens, we had Madame McBath, and we had Sick Soaps. Don't forget about Sick Soaps. Don't sleep. Stay woke on the Sick Soaps. All right, guys, that's all I had for you today. Let's talk to you guys on the next one, which will probably be tomorrow or the day after, because I'm expecting two or three more boxes. I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.